Thank you, Mesh. Azimio leader Raila Odinga says the Kenya Kwanza administration has to implement tax reductions and budget cuts to tame the runway cost of living and revive the economy. Raila was speaking at a conference on democracy in Upper Hill. Simiu Philip tells us more. The leader of Azimiola Umoja One Kenya Coalition, Raila Odinga, has called for an audit of all government procurement officers. Kenyans deserve a raise in the average minimum wage. We should also stop his management of public finances. The country must embrace better fiscal discipline. We do not have to increase our budget in order to look important. State Department with overlapping functions need to be scrapped. The former Premier has emphasized that tackling corruption is the key to addressing Kenya's financial challenges rather than increasing taxes. This is particularly urgent and critical given that in the Finance Act of 2023, the regime is pursuing higher spending and taxes for the next two years. Businesses will obviously pass the cost to consumers, wasn't the cost of living further. We needed to invest in direct relief to individuals through programs that put money directly into the people's pockets. Raila highlighted the need for competitive procurement processes to ensure the government receives better value for its money and to prevent leaks caused by corrupt officials. The controller of budget told the country that the National Treasury over budgeted salaries of state officers, including hers, by three times, leading to the loss of over one billion shillings. The controller of budget detailed how the Treasury has been over budgeting salaries of senior government officials through the consolidated fund services. So far, nobody has been made to bear responsibility for this budgeted corruption. We know very well that regional authorities duplicate county functions. Where do we retain them? Complete with budgets. To those doubting Thomases within the regime, these measures above will release the estimated 500 billion shillings required to bring back the economy on an even keel. Raila's focus on addressing corruption echoes his previous experience in the Nusmukate administration where he encountered dishonest procurement officers. He jailed some of them and said the government was now procuring competitively. And that is how we manage that economy. So you need to stimulate production. Interest rates need to come down. He further highlighted the precarious state of Kenya's economy in 2002 after former President Moyes' departure with suspended donor financing and limited tax collection. Kenya is caught in a debt, debt rut where it has resorted to borrowing more to repay debt. It makes no sense to us to borrow more to repay debt when debt is already too high. It amounts digging when you're already in a deep hole. Our position is that the National Treasury ought to ask creditors to push up payments falling due to a future date rather than keep paying it. This is what people do when they have a crunch in their finances but know they can pay later when their income is higher. The speech by Raila Odinga comes at a time when Kenyans are grappling with the high cost of living and have been calling on him to call for street protests, a matter that he says he is not considering right now. We are not being realistic to problems confronting this country. These problems must be confronted frontally, not by trying to give diversions here and there. We have said today that the cost of living is real and is killing the people. It has to be addressed if you are going to actually relieve the, 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 the plight of the people of this country.
The cost of essential goods and services rose in a review of taxation laws as the Ruto's administration appears to buckle under a decade-long pressure from the International Monetary Fund to drop blanket reliefs on consumption. This exodus is a result of the rapid but unstable tax policies that are scaring away foreign investors and leading to low revenue collections. In October, uh, the same National Security Exchange was ranked the worst performing African bars in the first nine months of the year in dollar returns. Investors prefer a country with a stable taxation policy, a stable currency, and a growing economy. The current regime is changing tax policy frequently, mismanaging the shilling and weakening economic growth. The Treasurer CS Njuguna Ndungu disclosed a plan to stop the zero rating of the value-added tax VAT on the supply of tens of goods such as maize flour, cooking gas, ordinary bread, medicaments, agriculture pest control products, and animal feeds. Each tax instrument to understand the behavior and even to, behave, to understand the implications in terms of compliance. President Ruto's executive policies have been seen by many people as a total opposite direction of what Ruto promised Kenyans during election campaigns. The latest to add his voice on the thorny matter is South Africa opposition Julius Malema who jetted in the country on Thursday. I don't know if President William Ruto means it because he said so many things and I can't locate him these days because the things he said during election and the things he's doing now are two different things. Because I heard him saying we need to do away with the dollar and build our own currency but his actions are not speaking to anything of doing away with the dollar. The latest being putting a red carpet for a murderer, a person who killed the Kenyan people coming into this country, receiving a red carpet and being saluted by our own army. On Thursday, during his inaugural State of the Nation address, President Ruto failed to address the high taxation. Kenyans of all walks of life have expressed mixed reaction to Ruto's leadership over the past one year. The review also pressured the cost of essential supplies such as locally assembled mobile phones, motorcycles, electric bicycles, solar batteries, and electric buses, which are currently VAT zero rated. Each and every one of us must pay their part of taxes. For Prime News Measure Television, I'm Philip Simeon.